page we are going to make um, first I did grab a piece of cardstock and then I make a similar piece of cardstock just a little edge smaller and make a flippity flop on it so we attach the flip page on here Let's see, where was my acrylic that's here and then we attach this one on our page just on top that's good enough you can go underneath the page but I like it on top Alrighty, now we can work on the top of this page and I already make a little mark what is the middle of this one so this these two sec sections will go apart so because we are going to make two pockets with a flap and let's see which die we are going to use for this one I think this one, this is perfect for making a flap. So, put this away. And again, I will use my homemade template. So, I will cut probably a nice and Correct. So just a little lower. I think I will mark it on here. Yes, this is the perfect spot. Yep. Already. So grab my piece of paper, and it's the same length as this one because this is going to be on top just a little smaller like I want so to line it up see and now the the squares are really handy the little marks on my homemade template there we go now we can go it to the machine there you go oh, there you have it that's one already we need one more because we are going to make two pockets so let's peel this off and I don't think I can use this side or yeah I think I do I think it will be large enough so line it up Again, on this, search for the middle, grab a piece of tape, so it will stay put, and I run it to the machine. A perfect cut, of course. There you go. I will stay this on there because perhaps we are going to use it. Now I'm going to cut this in half. You stay tuned. Oh, let's see. Let's first make our two flippity flops to attach this one to the page that's 
one. And that's two. Now I cut four of these. So now I can make them on the right spot. So just line it up. I always like a little edge. So you can make them on the size you just it <laughs> was my daughter. <laughs> so I cut all my um, design papers already but I put them just for a minute away because we are first going to attach these two flaps on the page and then we are going to make the pockets you can do it first make the pockets and then make the flaps but it does not matter I like it to do it this way so this is the first pocket or flap and this is going to be on top so place it in the middle there you go that's the first flap and then the second flap is going to be on the mark where we put already our middle mark so that will be here there you go so now we can make our two pockets first before we are going to put the decoration let's see for the pockets Let's see how high I want them. Normally I will make two centimeters opening, so ten. This is ten, nine and a half. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Two. Seven and a half plus the hinge, so eight and a half. Yes, let's cut this one at eight and a half. Let's check. Yes, this is the yeah, that's good enough. So let's make some hinges. Oh, why I will put this on this? Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's make one hinge first. Then measure how far your pocket will go. And that's to there. paper straight and cut the rest off there you go yep this is a nice size and then the pocket the flap fits perfect yes so let's make one more. Now we are going, before we are going to attach the design paper, I like to cut uh, with a big edge die. I want to cut a decorative edge so it will match the flip. So how I did this was 
really simple just line it up as you are doing it otherwise just laying it right here and just use your design paper and it will cut through so just put it a few times to the machine so it on top that's all and then this you can peel it off and throw it away or use it so yeah I really think this is really 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 handy so let's glue this one on the page and I think we are almost ready to put the design paper on and that's most of all the fun part so this is the first one Second one, the second one, we just lay it to against this flap, and then we have another pocket. So, yeah, this is the flap. So, I think we put some magnets on. Just, just these small ones are perfect, perfect to use. And I ordered them by AliExpress, and these are very tiny, but for some occasions really handy. And you don't need to use always big. Um, good magnet but these are really nice in use so that's our first magnet and then the second one time to decorate to put the design paper on on top of this one so let's see where are my here they are let's see I have one pink one oh this is also nice Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but I guess you can't. But on the background, I hear that my daughter is making cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. How nice is that? She does that occasionally. We are not that kind of people who sits on the couch all day. <laughs> we like do I hey, use this one not straight. So a page making is not that very difficult, but you have to think sometimes further than just cutting and put some design paper on. I really like this paper. This paper is, by the way, from Santoro, same, oops, same as the Gorgeous line, but this is the Mirabella line collection. I really like it. Very pastel chic colors. I really like that. Let's see. I think this one for here. Let me check. Let me check this one. Yep. Yep. This one is going to be here. Double-sided tape off. Now this is pretty tricky because you can't see enough. But if you slide a little piece of paper under, then you can see enough. And this one. in the pocket and um, it don't need to be um, decorative paper now I really like to use some plain paper so it's not too busy The whole, the whole page to cover, but just a little. It's just for the background, so and then you shove it. Mm -hmm. Come on, till the end of the whole line. 
install it in there. Yes. There you go. Alrighty. That is the pocket. Let's check. Slide it in. Did you see that? I used my boobies. <laughs> no, you did not see that. <laughs> so, let's see. Alright, that is the front. But we still have this one. But we can make this one as for using photos. So, yeah, let's take a look. Some decorative oh, pads. See, I want to make two pages for making for leaving photos in it. So what I do is just put along all the edges and make a frame of all these scraps. That's one. What I'm now going to make are the cards for in the pockets. And I always, not always, but I like to make some tabs on here. So what I did was use the, the small one in the same uh, shape. And I just grab a piece of paper that's the same length. And I just put the corners and for this one I just use some um, tape not washi tape not just regular because that's faster to get now you can peel these nice off and then you have a little tab. Now for my convenience I will do the same thing again. The other side of the paper. just have to cut them a little shorter, not too short, but a little, does not matter how long. And then we have four nice tabs. I think I will peel this now off, yes. So, yeah, I really <laughs> still like my idea <laughs> of using kind of sort of a template so yeah now I can glue these on here on the middle and then put my design paper on so nice so let's see I used on this page the CLOTE 36 and I used this little die and that's the same shape as this one for the big on the edge and that's the CLOTE 33 and these two I used on this page so let's see um, on the top I made two pockets that op goes open and here you can see I used the little one and it's the same shape on the back it's black, you can, you can white on, and here the same little tag in with use of the little die, and on this pockets I used also the die, the big die, 
and then this opens up for lots of place for photos. So I only use the dies on top of this page.